fans that have come over from Warrnambool in the gold section, trying to get on your feet as the fireworks start off the front. 24 sprint cars about to go absolutely bunta here at Perth Motorplex on night one of the Cricky Boys Shootouts. This time tomorrow night, there is going to be a lot of emotion on the line. There is obviously going to be a decent prize on the line. For the Cricky Boys Shootout, which has such a storied and rich history, it is going to be an absolutely sensational race. So who's out, Jase? There's only 23 cars, so someone has not made it out. Made 53. And away they go! Callum Williamson, the outside, up against Lockie McHugh. Williamson gets the best of start. Huge contact, though, at the back. It includes Coyle, it includes Yellow. Jack. Kendrick is part of the early part, along with you. Right next to him, green lights on early. Off we go. This is the restart of night one of the Cricky Boys shootout. Here at the Motorplex, Williamson, great start. Maiolo right around the outside, gets past Lockie McHugh and moves into second spot while Ryan Newton's made a decent start too. He's up into about fifth, but also doing well, Jock Goodyear, as Callum Williamson's gotten away. So it's three from 77 and then the A1 in the early stages while Daniel Harding is trying to chase down the Australian number one and Jock Goodyear at the moment in fifth. So still in fifth place, sixth place, we have another of the challenges from the East Coast, from Queensland. And Ryan Newton, then Johnny Milo. Then we go back to Taylor Milling, Caden Manners in Queensland's Luke Oldfield. They're your top 10, but it is Callum Williams at 12, 9, 5, 7. Uh, I tell you what, it's only going to be navigating through lap traffic that's going to be the West Australian's downfall. And we've seen him very, very good at this in more recent weeks, particularly between that USAWA series, Jace. Yes, yeah, so four down and a long way to go. Williamson from Mayolo from Harding as they fly past us here in the main straight and it gives a great appreciation of how quick they're going and Williamson has already done five 6.4 for the last sector he leads with Mayolo and Harding and he's coming up on the back end of Tom Payette and just ahead of him will be Cam McKenzie we've got 24 laps to go on night one. Jason Crow was asking for a West Australian to stand up, we've got three West Aussies that are standing up right now they are the front three in Callum Williamson in Bradley Mayolo and in Daniel Harding right now our leader just getting past Cam McKenzie, who is the 22nd car on the track right now. Williamson's lead over Mayolo is 1.1 seconds. They're 1.3 seconds back to Daniel Harding. As we have a look at our race leader, out of over one, turn number four, now coming up to some very dense traffic. So got caught behind JD Dak there, he's uh, our race leader, and all of a sudden now it is Callum Williamson and Bradley Mayolo. You can almost throw a blanket over them. There is only a couple of car lengths between them. JD Dak still holding them off, and also closing in now is Daniel Harding. We've only got 0.8 of a second between the top three. Lockie McHugh is a second behind. Then we go back to Jock Goodyear. He's another 0.6 behind, but our race leader's got a job in his hands now, Callum Williamson. There's a lap car between first and second. No, there's not any more. He got underneath of J.D. Dak pretty quickly, did Bradley Mayolo, and he set sail back after Callum Williamson yet again. 6.4 for the last sector, into the main straight, there's a car length in it, and not far behind is Daniel Harding as we complete 11. They go out of the Maddington Toyota turn, and he's now up behind Trent Pigton, and also the 10 car of Jai Corbett. Here comes the uh, 77 of Mayolo, and Harding not far behind. Putting a lot of pressure on, here is Bradley Mayolo, and this is real good to watch because the other car in Daniel Harding is starting to close a bit of ground too so the front three only separated last time around by a full second and it's uh, really close at the moment between the top three. Lockie McHugh is getting himself back involved too. In fact he's coming up right near the rear of the 18 car of Daniel Harding. So it's still Williamson who leads, maybe not for long as Mayolo got right to the side and almost took him out. Well we've also got McHugh and Goodyear closing in. Lockie McHugh was the quickest in the race the previous lap so they too, he's up on the tailpipe now, off the car just in front of Daniel Harding, into the main street comes our race leader and he's got a little bit of breathing space, just can't Harding's get out. past the 19, Harding's gone out so that means the McHugh and Goodyear move up a spot so it's Williamson, Bradley Maiolo Lachlan McHugh, the Australian one and John Goodyear from Tasmania as they hook into the main straight. Another one is out is JD Dak and there's not much now between first second, third, fourth, Goodyear and also Ryan Newton coming into the equation. They move out of Pitts Bend once again. It is Callum Williams.
Williamson in front, then a lap car of Trent Pigton, and then second, third, fourth and fifth. They're all locked together. So run down the back straight once again. He comes up on the back end of Jai Corbett as they come out of pits. Ben, second place, still that of Brad Maiolo and Lockie McHugh there with uh, the 22 car in fourth place at John Goodyear. The top five only separated by three seconds Mayolo. as Callum Williamson has charged away here. And no, Mayolo. Callum Williamson out in front here from Mayolo and here's your other two battling away in McHugh and Goodyear for third and fourth. Williamson's lead one full second over Mayolo last time around. This battle third and fourth though is going to be real fun to watch between the current A1 and the former A1. Well can uh, they catch Williamson? That's the big question and uh, I think the way that we spoke about this race at the start there's now only 10 laps to go and those two very well credentialed drivers unfortunately we're talking about the Australian one and Jock Goodyear out of position five. They're just not making the ground they need to and right now Callum Williamson unless he runs into someone he's got you suggest this race in the bag. Good he's lost his commentators spot. curse into the main straight. 22 laps down. Into the main straight they come once again yeah. and Good is out so Good is gone as he moves to the infield so that's rotten luck for him as our race leader is Callum Williamson. Comes into the main straight with seven to go. He's behind Kendrick. Second place is still that of Brad Maiolo. So Callum Williamson trying to put a lap on Jason Kendrick as they run down the back straight. The, car, the back of the shot is Carter Batena, Jai Corbett. He's a lap down. Williamson gets around. There's six to go. So Callum Williamson winning the New Year's Derby earlier on this year. And he's had a couple of seconds since then. In fact, he's had three second places in the 2023-2024 season. He's looking to get his second win of the 2023-24 season. And he's got seven to go. Coming out of Mannington Toyota, turn number two. And rocketing down the back straight right now. The gap between him and Bradley Mayolo is stretched out to about two seconds from Lockie McHugh, who's dropped back a spot. He's still just in third, but uh, Ryan Newton really chasing him down. Yeah, Ryan Newton driving a really good race. We've only got four laps to go here in this feature race. And what a ripping race it's going to be if it goes start to finish. It's been an unbelievable night of racing. 27 down now. Callum Anderson down the back straight. Passed out Perth Motorplex sign there. In the going in circles. So that's what they do it tonight. They're doing it super fast. It's been a record-breaking night. Are we going to finish with a 30-lap new record? Williamson's got a lap and a half to go. He comes up behind Jason Pride. He'll come into the main straight. The white lights will come on. We're homeward bound here on the first night of the Cricky Boys shootout. He goes underneath the Mannington Toyota sign. He moves down the back straight. He has 250 metres to go. Come on, Perth. He comes out at turn number four, and he wins in record time. Keller Williamson first. Second is Brad Mayolo, then back to Lockie McHugh. Fourth place is Ryan Newton, then Jamie Mayolo, Caden Manders. Taylor Milling is next, Brock Zierfoss, Luke Oldfield and Jamie Veal make up your top ten. He wins in six minutes, 50.407. He breaks the 30 lap record by 20 seconds, if you don't mind. Put your hands together for Callum Williamson, who defeats Bradley Mayolo and Lockie McHugh in a record breaking night here at the Motorplex. The crowd are happy. Let's go down to Chris for the presentations.